Okay, so I'm going to use problems uh, 25 through 36 on page 213 to show you how to calculate uh, the probability under the normal curve using Excel. And they've told us that we're looking at the heights of women and that the mean is 162 and the standard deviation is 6. And I'm going to look at problem 26 here. And it says, we want to find the percent of people heights that are less than 168. So that means that's the highest value here. So we have 168. We want to find stuff less than. So we're going to use the formula, which is equals. If I start typing, typing normal, N-O, I have right here the second one, normal distribution. And it tells me I need my x, which is 168, my mean, which is 162, my standard deviation, which is 6, and cumulative, I have to type in the word true. Always have to type in the word true. So the probability that something is less than uh, 168 centimeters is 84 point, you know, eight four one three four and we can round this we only need four decimal places so there we go point eight four one three and if we want to turn that into percent we just hit the percent sign so and it'd be eighty four or eighty four point one three just depending on which you know value we were looking for so um, yeah, <clears throat> you have to look in your book to see which way they want these to be displayed um, problem, so that's less than. And every time they see less than, once you get your answer, you're done because the graph always looks at less than. So I'm going to find one that has greater than here. Um, problem 28, which is 171. Okay, that's my lower bound. So I need to find less than still because that's all we can calculate equals norm normal distribution my mean and I can use the cells I can say x is here my mean is here and my standard deviation is 6 and this is going to be true Okay, so the probability that it's less than 171 is 0 0.9332, but I want the probability that it's greater than that. This is going to be 1 minus this value. Okay, and I'll go to four decimal places as well. Okay, so here is the formula to calculate normal distribution equals norm dot dist put the parentheses and then your uh, where your cells are and then to do find greater than we subtract one from that okay <coughs> that's really all we've done if we just wanted less than we would just use this formula we would be done if we need greater than we have to subtract one from it now the last one I'm going to show you is um, page, sorry, uh, number 36 here. And so this is the probability between 146 and 156. So what I have right now, for because I already had a cells, I already had a formula in here, it says, okay, well, find the normal distribution of this value using this value here. Well I also need to find the value of this one because I need to find out what's between. All I've found is less than right now this one. So if I do this again with the upper bound and my mean and my standard deviation and true and hit enter okay and go back to it I have the probability that it's less than this well I want to find out the probability between these two that means I'm going to subtract 
my upper bound minus my lower bound. Okay, that will give me the area between the two values. And here, let me go bring this down to four, just four. So, the area between these two values is 0.1548. All right, or if it was in percentages, it'd be 15.48. So, to find the area between the two of them, you have to subtract the smaller one from the larger one. That's all. That's the big difference. If I have to find greater than, I subtract this value from 1. That's the whole thing. Good luck. <laughs>